This video from Shopstuff, we're going to take a quick look at the key security features on the new £20 polymer banknote. So as you're probably aware, the note was released on the 20th of February. Um, it's quite different from the um, existing £20 banknote and it follows the 5, 10 in the polymer range. So we're now in 2021 we'll get a polymer 50, so that will complete the UK switch over to um, to polymer the 20 is billed as the most secure banknote ever produced so i'm just going to run through um, some of the key security features for you so you and your staff can be aware of what to look out for when you get the note because it can be the problem in the uk is we have a lot of 20 pound notes currently so you have the bank of england has the cotton one of which there's no official date for when that's going to be withdrawn from circulation i'm speculating that that's going to be around about halloween time 2020 because they won't want both notes in circulation for too long but there is no official date yet at the time of filming um, so you've got two Bank of England ones, but then also you've got all your Scottish, um, there's free issuing banks in Scotland, so there's free Scottish £20 notes, and some of them are moving over to Polymer as well, um, and then there's also uh, Northern Irish notes as well, so two's bad enough, but we, we do have quite a lot, so it's worth, to, it's worth watching to just go through um, some of the key things to look out for. Now a lot of the features are actually, you can tell them um, visually without any um, equipment and then some of them you'll need either a UV light or UV pen um, to to spot them so I'll go through the basics to start with obviously the key thing for me is the window here this is going to be very difficult for forgers to replicate so then the note itself is obviously printed on the polymer which is one level of difficulty for them and then there's transparent windows um, in the note here on the bottom right hand side and then here the big window has the Queen and then bank, £20 Bank of England written twice around the outline of her portrait. You then also have a neat little feature here which is um, a representation of Margate Lighthouse and then also the Contemporary Gallery in the background. Now what's going to be difficult for the forgers with this, another level, is that this is gold here, this is blue. If you tilt the note as well in the right light there's actually I don't know if you can see that on the video, but the lighthouse almost beams out um, a warning across Margate Bay. So that's that's quite a neat little feature, which is going to be very hard to replicate. On top of that, you've then got the on the reverse, the two, the lighthouse and the building are uh, silver. Um, so that's another level of sophistication. Here, at the bottom of the moat, you have a um, on the front, you have a hologram, which alternates twenty and pounds if you tilt it in the light. Coronation crown up here, which again in certain light is iridescent, I guess. So there's different colours appearing up depending on the angle of the note in the light. Um, exactly behind that, on the reverse of the note, you have this purple patch, which has the letter T in it, and also a, a representation of the spiral staircase at the Tate Gallery, um, which is difficult. Overall, um, the feel of the note, the print here, Bank of England 20, is raised. Over this window here, there's um, five rows of two twenties uh, numerically written out, and they're very slightly raised, so you can feel them. Across here, um, it's not really a security feature, but there's five cluster, three clusters of dots. Sorry, um, the reason for these is the ten polymer has two clusters, and the five has none, and that's to help blind or partially sighted people differentiate between the three notes because. Although they are different in size, they're quite similar, so if you only had one in your hand, you wouldn't necessarily be able to tell which one it was um, without those dots, obviously. Um, the next level of detection that you can see on the note is all to do with the fine print. Um, so if you notice here, on the to the right of the Queen, there should be um, three rows of three twenties um, here. 520s immediately beneath her and then 2020 written out here um, if you've got a magnifying glass then you'll notice that this 20 theme carries on throughout the note so along here is 20 all round this area here is 20s written out and then on the reverse behind the painter Turner and his uh, his famous painting you have Royal Academy of Arts written out in here and then lots of 20s appearing within this 20. Um, so all that stuff is, is visible to the naked eye. Obviously, um, 
there's a time limit to how long you can you can't take 20 pounds off someone and then spend stand there for 20 minutes studying it so that's where the uv light technology will um will help as well so if you pop one under a uv light the biggest security feature is the green and red checker 20 that appears um, as a hologram on the on the front of the note so that's why i'm thinking that a uv light is still a worthwhile investment for a for a retailer um, because you have that functionality and also more to the point uh, because we still have the paper cotton notes in circulation obviously the uv lights work on them so there's no need to panic and get rid of all your all that sort of kit um, because it's possible that over the next few months throughout 2020 anyone that has any suspicious or forged notes um, 20 pound ones has obviously got a limited amount of time to get rid of them so if they're going to spend them they're going to spend them this year and you don't want to be left with them um, because obviously the bank won't take them um, the uv lights will also work with loads of currencies around the world as well if you're watching this not in the uk um, they'll work on the scottish polymer as well as the standard polymer so we do a couple of different lights uh, we do an mv3 and an mv4 so if you're looking to get one of those then you can visit the shop stuff website what you'll also notice are the pens so the old-fashioned counterfeit note detect pens aren't really applicable to polymer um, because the way they work is they basically have iodine ink in them and you draw on the note and it has to be a paper note for it to work so if you draw on a fake note like i've got here um, you, if the note is suspect you'll get a some kind of dark mark appear um, on the paper and if you draw on a genuine banknote you'll either get a slight yellow mark or it'll be or it'll be clear so the pens are the pens have a shelf life on them so they're going to be uh, usable this year because obviously people are going to be paying with 50s maybe not 50s so much uh, but mainly 20s the old 20 notes are still being accepted so the pens still um, usable for 2020 obviously once the old 20 goes out of circulation um, then there's only the £50 note which itself is going to be replaced um, but if you're taking 50s I wouldn't be relying on a pen too much you're going to want a UV ball for them anyway because obviously that's a very protected note um, and obviously then the 50 itself is being replaced in 2021 so for another year the pens are relevant but then after that probably less so what we have developed is a uh, a replacement pen so this will work on the old cotton banknote so it's got the pen element um, under here if you take the lid off you can then make the mark on the cotton note so you can check your 20s with that but it also has a uv element as well so you can at the top end of it there's a bulb and you can shine obviously it's not as bright as a uv set uv bulb light because it's just there's no way it can have such a powerful bulb in it but it will bring up the 20 hologram on the 20 um, we've got a polymer fiber to hand it'll work on those so this is kind of covering they're, they're cheap I think you can pick up a pack of five on the website for five or six quid um, and they'll pick up they'll work on the new polymer notes and they'll work on any paper notes so if you're taking foreign currency for any reason they'll they'll work on those as long as they're not polymer but then you are covered on the polymer because it's got the ball at the top so yeah there's um, there's different things available um, depending on the notes you're taking but they're the main things to look out for a lot of them a lot of stopping fake money is about having your staff well trained on what to look out for what are the obvious thing to notice on the notes and then I mean the, the UV kits aren't expensive and if they stop two fake 20 pound notes being left in your till at the end of every year uh, then they're paid for themselves so yeah if you're interested in any of that you can check out the website shopstuff.co.uk uh, we've got lots more videos on all sorts of retail equipment and um, product support so you're welcome to subscribe to this YouTube channel uh, so yeah thanks for watching